Hi guys and welcome to a new video for Infinity Kingdom. This is Biaka from Server 49. And we have a battle new mode here in uh, Infinity Kingdom game. It's Battle Chess. I see here, uh, this is like the environment for me. And let's start from the beginning. If you are using uh, the game for the first time, you will have uh, see this deck. And this deck here needs to use cards and immortals to someone in the game. I will tell you in details. You better check the battle, <clears throat> the battle guidelines. You need to win to uh, finish the opponent king to uh, finish the game. So how do you do that? By uh, summoning immortals to deal damage to his beast. You also need to protect your beast and you can use immortals and cards to deal damage to his beast you can protect your beast also by summoning immortals or by moving your beast a little bit uh, to the left or to the right uh, away from the uh, enemy immortals to avoid some damage or avoid uh, like damage cards if he used damage cards on your beast uh, let's see some of the immortals let's edit here so there is a couple of immortals and as you see here numbers these numbers are the energy you start with some energy in the game and you keep stacking energy uh, and gaining energy uh, per second so the amount of energy needed per immortal here is different from each uh, other and also the immortals here have special uh, attributes or special uh, passive so it has like patrol and this is the move type and the uh, health is 250 automatically battle uh, the ground every three seconds it will generate one energy marks but loses 80 hp so it will generate like i think um four energy marks before it die because if if this unit lost uh, the hp it will disappear right I didn't try Makizuma, but I tried some other immortals before I recorded this game. And as you see here, some immortals has attack and attack speed and uh, health and range and movement speed. The passive skill for Merlin, use two arcane cards to launch five bubbles to attack random enemies on the chessboard dealing 50 damage. If the target suffers from any debuff effect, the damage will be increased. So as you see, uh, the immortals here doesn't have the same passive skills as uh, the actual infinity kingdom game for uh, attila i really liked attila because he leaps to the enemy he doesn't move he just jump to the enemy or jump to the uh, king if there is no immortals in the way uh, and silencing the enemy for three seconds his attack is massive but uh, he is like an assassin so he has low health we have also charlie's heal uh, he has an ultimate skill, cast shields based on 10% of the target's maximum HP on 3 random friendly units and lasts for 3 seconds. He doesn't have attack, he has massive HP and also his attack speed is low and his uh, energy is uh, kinda high and initiate energy is 500. Uh, the immortals I liked here let me show you Zenobia and I'm not going to talk about every immortal here because it's going to take like forever. So Zenobia sacrifices HB every three seconds to apply continuous healing to the friendly unit. She So she is not uh, going to heal without losing HB. She is going to lose HB for the healing she provides. Not like the actual game. In the actual Infinity Kingdom game, Zenobias can heal without losing any HP. For Dido, she casts uh, Ice Armor to three random friendly units. When they take damage, there is 50% chance to apply slow to the attacker, reducing the attack speed and movement speed by 50% for three seconds. So, as you see, there are a couple of support uh, immortals here. I'm going to show you now Cleopatra because I really, really like Cleopatra. She summons two uh, servants like snakes. When placed on the board, attacks from the servant or itself will apply marks of a servant on the target for three seconds. Can only be applied once every six seconds. Once the targets die with the mark, a new servant will be summoned. So if she killed someone, with her auto attack or uh, with her snakes she will regain another stack of her snakes so she can keep killing enemies turning them into snakes and this is massive 
uh, someone played against me he summoned two Cleopatras and all the battleground was uh, filled with snakes so it was intense uh, this card here is so uh, high in uh, energy but this unit can't move it causes 60 damage to random enemy every two seconds every time you use an immortal card the cost of this card will reduce by one energy mark so you can use this in your deck and use some of the cards here uh, the amount of cards you are going to use uh, are going to uh, minimize the energy used for the uh, immortal so as you see here all of them have like the shape of the dragon skills uh, except this one this one here uh, cause 180 damage to all enemies in the area and this one summons a moon altar that will loses 200 HP every 3 seconds the moon altar will fear all enemies in the area for 3 seconds the fear applies once every 3 seconds so this is massive uh, this is a massive skill with 4 uh, energy this one here Kobe, the last arcane card you have used with the energy cost increased by one. So if you use an arcane card and you want the same arcane card, you can use this one here and it will increase the cost by one. So stun all enemies in the area for three, six seconds. So some of these cards heal and some of them uh, make fear, poison, make damage. Let me show you here a skill that heals, recover 80 HP per seconds for 3 seconds for all friendly units. Because some of these cards here only heal one immortal. Because as you see here, this is recovering 100 HP per uh, second for 3 seconds for a selected friendly unit. You can use this card on Charles and make him like unkillable. And as you see there are some uh, amount of cards here are good you can come and check these uh, details here let me show you a quick game and i used this card here instantly no i'm, I'm going to change this card with another thing and i'm going to use something like dealing damage dealing damage instead of this one and let's go a fast game this uh, battle chess mode is so fast so you you can play this match like within 30 seconds so it won't take any long we are just going to wait uh, the matchmaking here wait me from one from server 97 so this is cross server i'm going to start with my Cleopatra, but i'm going to wait to see his summons first so he's he was summoning to support immortals or something like that i'm going to use some someone tanky i'm going to click here and am i going to lose yes yeah he used lots of supports item <laughs> immortals and i'm going to use uh, also a support immortal with my okay i'm going to use this one because he summoned lots of support immortals with high damage uh... so this is like the fire dragon the fire dragon appears here and it was a mistake by me to uh, make let me move here to escape from his damage and let me heal instead am i going to heal yes i was about to save him from dying I'm going to lose this because he is using like two cards of Amina, three cards of Amina, and one card for Makizuma. He keep using supports. <laughs> I can't compete to all of these supports in the game, so I'm going to win uh, or sorry, make him win this match, fair and square. And I hope you enjoyed this battle chess with me. There are lots of techniques. We are going to talk about techniques in the future when we keep discovering all the cards and all the immortals. Thank you for watching.